So in the following video, I'm going to share my experience using modafinil. Um, I know a lot of guys are interested in kind of boosting their brain power, their focus, their concentration, and in nootropics in general. Uh, I know I'm one of those people. I want to have an edge when I work. I want to be able to focus for prolonged periods of time, have enough motivation, and basically get the things done that I plan to do. And I've been trying many different stuff personally. It's difficult for me to kind of sit on the chair and work for long period of hour. And, uh, you know, modafinil um, was supposedly gonna help me do that. Um, I also went ahead and got a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to compare, like how modafinil compares to other stuff. Some of them is natural, others are like prescription medication. Now, before I begin this video, I'm going to mention the disclaimer, which is I'm not recommending that you go ahead and try any nootropics or any medications or any supplements. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm only sharing my personal experience and I don't recommend that you do the same. Uh, I went ahead and purchased the classic uh, modafinil. It's, uh, yeah, it just says modafinil USB tablets. Uh, the first time I took it, I kind of cut it in half and took the first half. And then after 30 minutes, I took the second half. I don't, I don't know if it matters, but I was just like, I was just too scared to take the whole thing at the beginning, but then I said, ah, fuck it. I'm just gonna take the whole thing. So uh, I took the whole thing and first day I took it, I felt like I had superpowers. The way I can describe it is my mind was just so clear. Like everything I wanted to say was just ready there to say it. Everything I wanted to do was like, so easy to do, it was like obvious. Like I didn't think twice. You know when you're talking and sometimes you're kind of buffering, like you're trying to think to find the right words? When you take modafinil, it's gone. Like the right words are just there. And you're more animated, you're, you're speaking easily. And when I went to do the work that I had to do, I wasn't thinking too much about it. I'm like, okay, I gotta do this, this and that. And then I would jump and start just doing one thing after the other compared to me usually like when I have to like reply to some emails or finish some design or do something I'd be like hmm let me just you know check maybe Instagram first and then then I'm gonna go and, and try to do that so it's as if everything that I wanted to do or everything I wanted to say was much easier to do or say uh, there was no kind of barrier between me and what I wanted to do or say. Now, keep in mind, a lot of people said that modafinil makes them want to be away from people and like not communicate to anybody and just focus on something. Um, I didn't feel that way. Uh, I was able to finish a lot of work really fast, like with a lot of focus. Uh, I was able to communicate very clearly with people and I remember I had a couple of meetings and people were generally feeling really well next to me because I was so clear-minded, I had the right words, I was animated. Um, so it also helped me you know, with communication, not just with finishing you know, work uh, that is on my laptop. Now, I really have to mention the side effects here because it also had some side effects. Um, one thing is that I started feeling my heartbeats. Like I started feeling my chest. Uh, I don't know if my heart rate went up or like the heartbeats were stronger or I was more sensitive. I don't know what exactly happened, uh, but I definitely felt my heartbeat. Also, it's, it's almost as if I was feeling anxious, but not really. It's almost like on the border of feeling anxious, but not really. It's, it's kind of like driving you so fast to do things that you might, you know, mistake that to feeling anxious. 
and you might feel anxious on some days uh, when I took it and I was already anxious, it will make you feel more anxious. So it also depends on your mindset. What I have to say is like, I would not take it every day because I felt like when I was taking it every day, I was not, it was not giving me the same effect. To put it this way, if I would take it like Monday and then I would hammer a lot of work that day, I would just work 12 hours a day and then I would go to sleep. First of all, I wasn't getting quality sleep when I took it, even though I took it right when I first woke up in the morning. Like I'd wake up a lot at night and therefore I'd wake up the next day, you know, not that recovered. So if I would take it the next day as well, uh, I would not have the energy, even though it's like giving me that boost, I would just not have the energy, like my eyes would be tired and I wouldn't have the energy to go ahead and finish the work. And therefore I was not taking it every day. I tried taking it every day. It was just like not a good idea. I started feeling anxious. I was not as productive. Uh, so I realized taking it like I'd say two to three times per week, like one day on, one day off, uh, was and had the best results. So all in all, I mean, I'm pretty happy with the results and I, I can see how it makes a huge difference. Like some people, you know, sometimes you see some people and they're as if they're on it all the time. Uh, obviously, the, their genetics are just different and it makes you become like those people. At least it made me become that kind of extroverted, hyper-focused, uh, driven, um, you know, it, 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 would, it may, almost made me like an extroverted entrepreneur. I, it's very difficult to explain and I think, you know, it affects, it affects different people in different ways, uh, but I'm generally happy with the way it feels. Now, I want to go ahead and compare it to other stuff that people might use. So I think, I'm not sure which one I tried first. Was it Kratom or was it Modafinil? Now Kratom is also considered by some people as a nootropic, as something to help people concentrate. And for me personally, it works that way. Uh, for some people, it just like makes you sleepy or, you know, sluggish or whatever. Uh, but for me, it was also kind of good for productivity. Now, uh, I want to compare this to modafinil. Now, Kratom is natural and natural by no means. It means like it's good for you. It's also, uh, I, I guess it's a drug. I don't know. But um, the thing about it is that it's different from modafinil. Like w when I take Kratom, I just want to sit like and focus on something without talking to anybody like uh, like design or you know doing some administrative work on my laptop like I just I just enjoy sitting and focusing on something I don't really want to move too much I don't really want to speak to anybody um, but it kind of solves my problem because I'm kind of hyperactive and I keep moving all the time so it helps me just sit and finish what I wanted to finish with kind of mild euphoria. So you really enjoy what you're doing when you do it. Um, with Kratom, I did have a few side effects. Uh, you really have to be careful with the dosage. So at the beginning when I started taking it, uh, I felt like it made me constipated um, when I took it. Now, after taking it for almost a month, I don't see the same side effects. Also, um, I realized when I take just one teaspoon, it does like a good effect, like mild effect. But if I would go to like two teaspoons or three teaspoons, um, I would really like have bad side effects. Like I, I wanna throw up and, and I'm like really feeling bad, like I can't move. Um, so, you really gotta be careful with how much you're taking here. Um, but overall, it's something that I really like, especially if you're you know, going through hard times or whatever, it kind of relaxes you. Like if, if you had something, um, I don't know, unfortunate happen in your life and uh, you're, just, um, you're just feeling bad or like very anxious or whatever, it, it really helps. 
with calming you down and just relaxing you and making you uh, happier, I'd say. Uh, it, ha it has this kind of euphoric feeling when you take it. Like sometimes what I'm doing right now is one day I would take modafinil, which kind of gives me this kind of really hyper focus and like moving fast and, and talkative and all of that. So this is like perfect for making YouTube videos. Uh, now I'm not on it. And the Kratom is perfect for just like sitting down and doing work on my laptop. So if I would take Kratom, I wouldn't wanna make YouTube videos, for example. Now, I wanna compare those two to something that is considered hardcore. Uh, this is Concerta. I think it's very, very similar to Adderall if you're in the US. This lasts for like eight to 12 hours. It is hardcore stuff. Uh, it is compared to like really heavy uh, drugs or whatnot. This, I mean, I have a lot of side effects with this. Uh, it just makes me not want to see anybody, makes me just want to sit in a corner and hammer some work without talking, without opening my mouth, without being disturbed. Uh, it allows me to like read or do some some work on my laptop for like eight to 12 hours straight without like caring about anything else. Um, but it's, it's really heavy on your brain. Like, and it's, it, I have a lot of side effects with this one. Like the moment I take this pill, I'm literally running to the toilet. Like it kind of fucks up my system that way. This is something I would not take more than once a month, maybe just because how heavy it is. And compared to that, like the modafinil is almost, it's, it's just doing what it's supposed to without the side effects. So this, sure, like you have crazy focus and concentration for 10 to 12 hours, but then the side effects are just like horrible, like terrible. Like you have different body smell and, and you, your stomach is messed up and you wake up the next day totally tired. Um, and the way it works on your brain is it's literally like working on your dopamine and serotonin, just like, you know, recreational drugs. So this is something that is super heavy and I'm honestly scared to take it sometimes. So what modafinil does is that it comes, it's almost like the medium in between like crazy results and crazy side effects and no results and no side effects. So it's like, right in the middle and uh, I like it because of that. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep taking it for a while because it's again like it's a drug so I don't think it's healthy for me or it's healthy for anybody. The best is just to do everything naturally but yeah generally I'm happy with the results and um, it's, it's really helping me with work and yeah I hope that this video or this information was helpful for you. And if it was, all I ask for is just a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I share valuable information around topics that I'm interested in. Um, so yeah, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about nootropics? Have you tried any? And what was the best in your opinion? Anyways, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.